Today, I'll be showing you how to properly use Raycast like a full-on nerd. The first thing to do is to go to Raycast.app. Once you have landed on the page, scroll down until you see the option to download for Mac. Click on that to download a DMG file for your Mac. Alternatively, if you have Homebrew installed, which is a package manager for Mac, you can just click on install via Homebrew. Then you can open up your terminal app of choice, which for me is item 2, and just paste it in, press enter, and install Raycast from there. Once the download has been completed, open up the Raycast.dmg file. Then simply drag the Raycast application into the Applications folder to install it on your Mac. But for me, I've already installed it, so I'm going to stop the installation process and I'm going to cancel it. After that, if you want to, you can eject the drive as well. Now to open up Raycast, you can use the launchpad, or if you're like me who still loves to use OneLight, you can just use OneLight to open up Raycast. Once Raycast is open, you will see this window right here, which you can manually adjust if you want to. Now let's talk about the basic settings that I'll highly recommend you to change after installing Raycast. So, right now in the Raycast menu, you can press Command Comma to bring up setting thing. And let's open up this Command Comma. And if you try to set it as the Raycast hotkey, then this time it actually works. And if you are wondering what that setting does by disabling both of those settings, and well, it basically disables the keyboard shortcut for accessing Spotlight. But if you still want to access Spotlight for some reason, then you can use the F4 keyboard on your Mac, or if you have the Spotlight icon on your menu bar, then you can do the same thing from there. After that, you have the option for disabling and enabling the menu bar icon. I like to enable it as sometimes, you know, if I do not have access to the keyboard and I want to quickly access Raycons, then I can go into the menu bar and hide the other icons and I can easily access from there. By the way, you can open up Raycons, send feedback, manual, troubleshooting, subscribe for updates, join the Raycons community, follow Raycons on, on Twitter. You can also so you show or view about Raycast, check for update settings, and you can also manually quit the app if you want to. But let's now focus on the other settings in the general menu. You can change the font size if you have accessibility issues right here. If you select a much larger one, that it will be much larger, but I'm going to set it the default, which is medium. You can also set Raycast to follow your system theme, which for me is dark, so Raycast is also dark. Or if you want to be always light, then it's going to be light. I don't like that. I like to set it to the system, and I set my system to be dark, so it's dark, dark. I like dark. Next, you can select which type of window mode that you want. This is the default one, and it's a much more expanded view, but I like the look of Raycast and Alfred, which is also a an alternative out there that is paid so I like to select compact so it's more like Raycast and let me quickly align those track and finally you can show favorites in compact mode I do not care about favorites e uh, even in the default mode so I just uncheck it it's unnecessary for me okay it's time for the main killer features of using Raycast if you go into the extensions tab there will be a bunch of extensions installed. Now I've configured my Raycast to my liking, so there's some hotkeys, but let's start off with the main extension that is basically, you know, the main thing about Raycast and why you should use Raycast. Yes, Raycast is good at opening up apps, search, doing web searches using your preferred web browser and web search engine, and it also has the great features of finding files like small light. But the main thing is extensions. If you go into the extension tabs and you scroll down and hold the bottom, you'll see the window management section. And if you check this on, then it will turn on window management. And if we expand this, then you have you basically have a bunch of options. And it, and if you know the rectangle app, which is basically an app 
Uh, now that improves the window snapping feature as by default on Mac you only have two options, one on the left and one on the right, but the rectangle allows you to expand that by by allowing you to set custom shortcuts for that and also having a bunch of window snapping presets which will be useful if you have a big monitor or will also be useful if you're using a laptop screen or a small monitor. And Raycast basically has this feature baked in using the extensions feature of Raycast. If you extend window management, you got the option for almost maximize, bottom center sixth, bottom half, bottom left quarter, bottom left sixth, bottom right corner, bottom right sixth, bottom third, bottom three fourths, from bottom two thirds, center, center half, center third, center three fourths, center two thirds, first four, first third, first three fourths, first two thirds, last four third, last third, last three fourths, and it's basically a bunch. It also has love left half and left right, maximize all those good stuff. And it's basically rectangle, you know, where rectangles are window snapping features and presets basically baked into an application or all in one application. By the way, if you, you know, if you select this record card key area here, then you can record a custom shortcut to snap a window. So let's close it out for now. I have this arc window right here. And if I want to set it so that it's almost maximized, then I can just do command E, I mean option E, then it changes to almost maximize if I want to fully maximize it, which is a lot more productive as going to full screen and cannot easily drag and drop. Just select press command E on my keyboard and it's done. I can do command C, I mean command left arrow key to step it to the right and right arrow key to the right. Or alternatively, you can just do this send and just open up break cards and type in the preset option that you want to use. For example, center there and it basically does that. Of course, not just that, it also has a bunch of snapping options which will be 100% useful. And that's why I use this app because it's a smaller replacement and also a window management app. But not just that, if you want to extend its feature, then what you can also do is to click on this plus right here, click on install from store, then you can find other third-party extensions out there, which is made by the community, trusted by the community. You can select one, actions, and install extension. Very nice. Now let's move on to the extensions that I would really like to use. So the first one is Google Translate. After that, I can select a keyword shortcut, which for me is option T. Then I can add to the text to translate to say hello. And I think I'm going to set the feature first. So let's do this translate. And what I'm going to do is to auto detect to Swedish, for example save and what i'm going to do is to type in hello no it's all scrolling now i forgot how to use this feature so let's do hello press enter it's going to translate and of course and it said hello in Myanmar, burmese to be exact and it's really powerful the next feature is kill process Yes, Mac has a built-in one. You can just right-click on an app that is unresponsive and also and quit it. And if it's unresponsive, then it will say force quit. Alternatively, you can go to the Apple menu, which you have to close this window first. Force quit and find the app that you want to quit and click on force quit, which will be useful for some. But for me, when I'm developing new stuff and I need to force quit something, then going into this menu may be, you know, Maybe quite waste of time, so I use option A. Then I can filter and search it by name or manually go through them. Press enter to kill the process easily. That's what, that's why I love rate cars. Not just the default features are amazing. It also allows you to extend its feature by allowing you to install custom extensions. The next one is Bitwarden Bolt, which will be self-explanatory. And... 
The next one is download video. You just need to install an extension called FFMPEG from Homebrew. And after that, I can download any YouTube videos out there with the link from 240p to 1080p. Even though it doesn't get 4K, I mainly enjoy videos in 1080p and it's enough for me. By the way, you can download videos for, you know, uh, music as well. So let's try one and let's go to mystudio.youtube.com and let's try to download one of my videos just to test it out. So content and this is my last video right here. And I'm going to share it myself. I mean, share it and copy. I think the shortcut is okay. Then what it does, it actually gets the latest YouTube link for my clipboard. Then it says the title and I can select the format, 1080p, 10 megabytes or audio if I want to. Download the video and it's going to load, get the data from there. And in just a few seconds, it's going to start downloading the video. And it's right there, downloading video, rapidly going up. And finally, almost finally, I guess, 80%, 95, 97, 100. And that's all. The download has been completed. Open it in Finder and I can watch the video in full quality of any YouTube videos. And the last thing that I want to go through that is actually really good is the clip history. Now, you may have used apps such as clip back key, I guess. It's good, but Raycast also has this feature. So I've had to do option V and it basically shows me the board history. Now, if you do not have purchased Raycast Pro, which has Cloud Sync, basically synchronizing settings using a Raycast account and AI, which is basically ChatGPT or GPT-4 inside of Raycast, because then it said that it has a clipboard history limit. But for me, I've been using this feature for a lot of time now, for a long time now, and it doesn't exceed the limit. And I do not have any problems exceeding the limit as I do not go that much up. Much up, and it's really, really good. Finally, let's go on to AI, which is Raycon's AI and Cloud Sync account, which can sign in organizations, advanced, about, it's all about Raycast. And I think that's all of, about the video. Just kidding, there's also one feature which is really cool. Type in confetti, and it's a confetti. That's all from me, I'll be enjoying it. This is Unresolved Tech, over and out.